guys, so here we have our boy Cabe. Uh, he's pretty good. Universal Survival Saga, 40% support type unit. That is what your boy is talking about. Um, I definitely would say I probably would rather... I wish this guy... Is he on Rapid Growth? Uh, he is not. I guess. So I guess I only count Super Saiyan 2 Cabe as being on Rapid Growth. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, the Universal Survival Saga support ability is good. I would have rather it go to a different team. But the team I would have really wanted it to be on ra is Rapid Growth. Actually, that was kind of a misplay by Dokkan. They should have just made this a Super Saiyan 2 Cabe and have him on Rapid Growth and have him support Rapid Growth. I think that would work better. But he's just going to be ridiculous regardless, right? Um, because he's going to fit well on that Universal Survival Saga team as just like, like a Saiyan, right? He'll work well with Evolution Blue Vegeta to make him better. Um, Evolution Blue Vegeta makes Cabe a lot better because he becomes a defensive stacker. Remember that the main thing with these support type units is, you know, these new age supports, they're so good anyway, right? Like, as long as they're good defensively with all the support they're giving, like, I, I, I like their performance, right? Like, GT Trunks and Goten, I feel like this unit is going to look similar to them. It's just the only thing is that he's going to need a Vegeta on the team to stack, right? Whereas they stack normally and they have additionals. But I feel like his attack stats a lot of time probably going to look similar to GT Trunks and Goten. Um, but defensive stacking on these support characters, I think, is really good, right? The STR Trunks has also got that. Um, so let me get him the full level 10 links, and uh, let's see how this Cabe performs. All right, guys, so we're here in an event. Uh, we're starting out on the Pure Saiyan team uh, with our boy Cabe. Now, remember, Cabe, for the most part, you do want to use him on a Universal Survival Saga team, right? Remember that Cabe is getting... What is it? An extra 6% attack and defense per Universal Survival Saga category ally in the team. So, it's like they did really restrict him to a Universal Survival Saga team. Like, I kind of wanted to try and just do, like, some sort of, like, almost kind of, like, hybrid, like, pure Saiyan type build. Not hybrid Saiyan, but, you know, you get what I'm saying. So, I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see how we look here. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and keep physical UI on rotation with him. So, Cabe does have this unit super attack. Um, with any Vegeta, right? All he needs is a Vegeta on the team, and he's able to do his unit super attack. The issue I really have with this Cabe is the unit super attack. Um, it's not a bad restriction that Vegeta has to be on the team, but it's just like, the way Cabe, I think, is... It, it seems like he should be help for, like, Kale and Khalifa and Universe 6, but in truth... It's like all this guy really ends up being is maybe help for Evolution Blue Vegeta. I don't know. But let's just get some rotations in with him. Um, and let's sort of see some of the stats we get with Cabe. Again, obviously he's going to perform at his best on a full Universal Survival Saga team. We'll go ahead and check him out on a full Universal Survival Saga team next, right? I mean, I guess the good news is that, you know, with Tech Hit as the leader of the Universal Survival Saga team. Okay, so 3 million right there. That's honestly for a support, like... For one of these, like, new age support type units, like, I feel like that attacks at a solid. But, Cabe gets an additional 60% attack when attacking if Vegeta's in the same turn. So, if we get to another rotation where Vegeta is not in a turn, we, I think, are going to see... Dude, I don't... Man, it's just... This chord stuff is just so frustrating. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own, man. But, um... Uh... I'm going to be interested to see what kind of damage Cabe is going to do um, when there's not a Vegeta in the ro in the rotation, right? I, I feel like in that situation, frequently he's under like a 2 million attack set. It's kind of in that 1 million range, which is definitely not really good, but at the very least, he is also supporting. Um, okay, so there's no Vegeta here. We should be able to get most of Cabe's links active on this turn. Um, so Cabe's link set, right? Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. So um, we are going to be able to get a, a, a fair amount of a bunch of these links active with the Super Saiyan 2 Cabe. What is his defense? It's up to about 200k right here. That is, of course, with support um, from Physical UI Goku right here. It's like if you're on a team... With a Vegeta around, and Cabe is going to be able to stack his defense. He certainly could be helpful, per potentially, in like a long event, right? Legendary Vegeta event or something like that. Although, I, I did 
do a video with Kabe in the Legendary Vegeta event, and he, he didn't perform as well as I would like. Yeah, look at the attacks that dropped to 1.83 right there. That number is certainly not that great, right? I mean, with the support, it's definitely acceptable with the support, right? Like, a lot of these kind of support type units, like, um, GT, Trunks, and Goten oftentimes, I feel like, end up kind of in that range. It's just that their support buff, you know, of Goku family and Vegeta family, it just feels much more meaningful than, like, Kabe, just with the Universal Survival Saga. But, like, he's on all these teams where... I don't know. It's like the more... I, I just I just feel like the more you put thought into Kabe, the more it's just kind of a weird design, right? In that he should be help for Universe 6, but he's he's not, right? Because um, that like you're if you're going to run like a Universe 6 team, just specifically Universe 6, you're probably not going to run this guy, right? Because one of the big assets, of course, is his defensive stacking. Defensive stacking could be good for long events, but he's not defensive stacking without Vegeta on the team. So that's where the lack of, you know, a Vegeta on the team, which, you know, Universe 6 obviously doesn't have a Vegeta, you know, is a bit of an issue there for sure. Um, Okay, so I guess we'll we'll let this sort of same rotation play out right here. Um, So this is just Kabe without other support. He's up to 232k right there, which is, is fine, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and see what uh, number we get right here, and then we'll go on to a different team. After this, let's go to uh, the Universal Survival Saga team, led by Tech Hits. Um, I, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go to that team. Kabe will be able to get the full Universe 6 buff, while also being on the Universal Survival Saga team. You know, we can get some other supports, get a Vegeta on there, sort of see what he's going to look like. 1.9 right there. Every super attack Kabe does, by the way, he does stack attack, right? On his just normal super, he stacks attack by 30%. Um, on his unit super, he stacks attack and defense by 20%. So, you know, without a Vegeta around, he is going to stack his attack up um, a little bit faster. But, it you know, the, the defensive stacking is really what's super important. So, um, all right, yeah, let's go ahead and go over to a Universal Survival Saga team now um, and sort of see how Kabe is going to perform. All right, so now we're over here on the Universal Survival Saga team. Oh, whoops. Uh, let me go ahead and undo that. <laughs> uh, the auto and stuff is always an issue. Uh, so now we're on the Universal Survival Saga team. Um, we'll be able to link up fairly well with our boy Tech Hit, right? Tournament of Power, Universe uh, 6, as well as Fierce Battle. 175k defense is what our boy Kabe is starting out with right here at the start. Um, he is getting some support from God Topo as well. Um, I mean, this actually should be a fairly good turn for hit. Oh, boy. Whoops. Okay. I, I, I <laughs> The auto lost us a turd right here. Yeah, because hit's going to do a little bit too much damage. So, goodbye, Goku. Yeah, that's a, that's a high number. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, look. There's something that Kabe really can contribute to is that right there, right? Like that. You know, I, I, in terms of this being a showcase for Kabe, I feel like that shows or sh should show quite a bit um tech hit can be an absolute ridiculous monster and you know kabe giving that universal travel saga buff is certainly going to help that um occur right um so we are on the full universe or universal survival saga team now so we're going to be getting the full six percent attack and defense uh per universal travel saga ally on the team we're going to be able to make full use out of kabe's support type buff um we do want to try and at least get that 60 percent attack buff as well um, with a Vegeta in the same turn, right? So we'll we'll kind of get a couple of different rotations here. Um, I'm probably going to also... We'll do one more run after this. Where, it, it, you know, it could be any team. But I just want it to be a team without Vegeta on it, right? To sort of show um, what Kabe is looking like when we do not have a Vegeta around, right? So, all right. We'll be able to get uh, these four links with uh, Kale. We're going to get the Fierce Battle with um, Hit right there. So 170k defense is what Kabe is looking at right there. Uh, and let's go ahead and see what numbers he gets up to. Remember that Kabe, again, is going to be stacking as we're sort of going on. So the longer the event goes on, the more damage he'll be able to do and the higher his defense is going to be able to get to. Um, I do think, like, support type units like Kabe that defensively stack, like, that is a good thing, right? Like, it is very helpful when they are able to defensively stack and build up that defense can be very good for their usability in long events and stuff like that, right? But 
The, the only thing with Cave is that it's like, it's restricted in the way it is. It's just weird. Like, Cave is fine, you know, if you're using him in the right position, but it is just very weird to sort of see, like, the odd restrictions they gave him and the sort of, like, weird design choices when this guy is, what, uh, like, 40 days away from, like, Dr. Giro and Android 19 who are, like, uh, like uh, uh, just unbelievable, right? Like, they're, they're supporting... They have key blast absorption, like everything they're doing is just like absolutely like stunning. And again, they're not even really that far away from the release of this cave, right? Like it's like sometimes Dokkan, I don't know what it is, but they just really don't test some of these units or they're just not optimized or designed very well in general, right? Like Tech Piccolo, like I don't know. I, it's almost as though Dokkan is overrating Tech Piccolo's rainbow orb healing or something? I, I don't know. I, don't, I guess not, because Meki Kabora has got that as well. So I don't know what they were thinking with Tech Piccolo, right? Um, he puts in very low numbers as well. It's like Tech Piccolo, I think, would have been fine um, if, along with everything else he's doing, he was also, like, stacking or something like that. I think that actually might have helped Tech Piccolo out quite a bit. Stacking is definitely something that can be very useful um, for a lot of these characters in these games, right? Because they're always, like, like short events is something that's always going to be happening, right? Like, Super Battle Road stages where, like, stun, attack, debuff, those types of things are, are useful. But it, they're always going to be building, like, difficult events in this fashion as well. Where, like, you know, we're going to have a long run through, like, one of these tough bosses. Like, this is definitely something that's going to happen. So, Cowboys have the 200k defense right there, so... You know, at, at that point, like, that is good, right? Like, his support with 200k defense and stuff. But, um, I, I, I mean, I, I do look at him and do j just wish that he could, he could do more. It, it is especially uh, kind of odd when, again, you think about third form Frieza, you think about Android 19 and Dr. Zhro, think about Heart Virus Goku. Like, think about how busted all of those units are. And then you look at our boy Kabe right here, and it's just like... A little bit of a, a, a wonky design, for sure. And it's like a lot of these teams... So, like, Kabe is on Universal Survival Saga, Pure Saiyan, Universe 6, Super Saiyan, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Defender of Justice. And it's like, a lot of these teams, like, it's not... You're not really going to be using him on, right? Like, you know, some of these support type units, right? You could use them on other teams besides just what their main support ability is for. Right, but this Kabe, you know, especially with how much extra attack and defense he gets per Universal Travel Saga category ally in the team, I feel like this is a guy you probably aren't actually going to rock too much um, outside of when you're on a full TOP team. So I think we'll go ahead and get we'll get one more rotation with Kabe in this run, um, and then again we'll, we'll jump maybe to like a full Universe Six team or something like that, just kind of like a final run, see what Kabe looks like on a team without Vegeta. All right, so on this rotation, let's see the numbers that we're going to get from Cave. He's up to 240k defense. Uh, remember, he's going to be doing a lot better now because he's getting the extra 60% attack with Vegeta on the rotation. But that's the other thing, man. It's like they want you to use this Cave with Vegeta, but like they have Tournament of Power and Fierce Battle. That's it. Like It's like they could have, I don't know, maybe had more. Like I, I feel like it, it, it's fairly obvious what the, the issues are. Nice to get this massive support type unit for this team. Universe's Rival Saga team, which definitely has one of the better rosters of all the different categories, right? A lot of mega top tier units, but um, they could have... It's like they were too scared of his support ability. It's like there's a reason, I guess, why Pure Saiyan doesn't have a three key 40% buff or something like that, right? Maybe that's what it was with this guy. See, like, this turn looks good. So he's like, he's at like a 4 million attack set right here. You know, his defense is like 250k plus. It's like, in a vacuum, you know, there's these rotations where, like, Kabe looks good. But it's, like, all this, like, sort of, like, quirky restrictions, quirky links. It's, like, there's not really a great unit to use him with. You know, stuff like that. What's interesting is, you know, it's Super Saiyan Vegeta in the unit Super Attack, but there's not even a Super Saiyan Vegeta in the Universal Survival Saga team, right? It's very bizarre stuff all around. All right, so now we're on a full Universe 6 team. Um, no Vegeta around, so we'll see how we're going to perform. 
Yeah, see, this is where Cave is maybe a little bit uh, less impressive. 160k defense, and that's it. That's just not... That, from a unit in 2021, I'm not into that, right? It's like, yeah, cool. You know, with a Vegeta around, he would be able to stack up and he'd do better than that. But 160k defense, man? 1.69 million. I mean, you could just see these stats. I mean, we have not linked up with a Super Saiyan 2 Cabe right here, right? It's not like he's got zero links active or something like that. Um, it's just that there's, you know, very certain uh, situations where... This Kabe will look really impressive, but a lot of the times I feel like he's actually not looking that great. Yeah, it's one of these things where it's like, this guy just looks a lot better on paper. I feel like the more you use him, the more his uh, flaws and holes just seem to be very, very uh, obvious, I would say, as time goes on with this Kabe, right? Um, I mean, he'll definitely have a spot, you know, provided that, you know, Vegeta has a powerful presence on the Universal Survival Saga team, right? It's like, you know, I, I, hey, I'm still hoping that maybe we get, like, a blue Vegeta that's, like, a rainbow orb changer for the Evolution Blue Vegeta Kaioken Blue Goku unit or something like that, right? That certainly could help. Now, remember, the, the unit super attack, too, it is just an ally whose name includes Vegeta. So what that means is that, that like, just Evolution Blue Vegeta and Kaioken Blue Goku would activate Kabe's unit super attack. That itself would be sufficient, right? So we'll go ahead and finish up with this turn right here. Um, we're up to 175k defense right there. Let me know what you guys think of this Kabe, but he certainly does have a bit of a quirky design, right? It's like, you know, in a good situation next to a Vegeta, um, you know, deep into an event where you've been able to sack up his defense, stuff like that, he can look solid. But I think a lot of the times, it's like, honestly, some of these free-to-play units kind of outperform him, right? Like the Tech Kabe... Does a lot more damage, I feel like, most of the time, right? Int Kale is supporting at a similar level with while having much better defense if a Vegeta's not around, right? So uh, definitely a very weird design, I would say, at the bare minimum for our boy uh, Int uh, Super Saiyan Kabe right here. All right, so this is a promise to master Super Saiyan Kabe. His leader skill is the Bond of Master in a Cycle Category Key 3 and 130% of stats. His super attack is the Gallic Cannon, which stacks attack and does supreme damage to the enemy. His unit super attack, Master and Disciple Gallic Gun, stacks attack and defense and does supreme damage to the enemy. Um, and you could use that just as long as there is a Vegeta on the team, right? Now, of course, it, you know, it can't be, you know, Vegeta Jr., you know, Kid Vegeta, um, but just like a normal Vegeta, right? Um, his passive, Kabe's Vow, gives him 130% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then Kabe also gets 6% attack and defense per Universal Survival Saga category ally on the team. Uh, then he gives Universal Survival Saga category allies 3 key and 40% attack and defense. Definitely a very powerful effect, right? Um, and it's like that, how strong the Universal Survival Saga team is. Um, very clearly impacted their decision to kind of make this guy have flaws elsewhere, right? Again, that's why I don't believe we have, like, a pure Saiyan support type unit or something like that. Although, we do have one for hybrid Saiyans. We have uh, 80. <laughs> and that team is definitely, I, I feel like at this point, on the level of these other teams, right? Um, then, uh, Kabe also finally gets a 60% attack buff when attacking... Um, if there's an ally whose name includes Vegeta attacking on the same turn. And again, that just sort of rounds out the flaws of the main Vegeta you probably want to run with this guy is Evolution Blue Vegeta. And they share two links, dude. Like, Evolution Blue Vegeta doesn't have Super Saiyan, right? Like, ever since he came out, that's been just an unnecessary stupid shaft. And it rears its ugly head uh, with this Kabe right here as well. Um, Kabe's links are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage... Courage, Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, Super Saiyan, and Fierce Battle. Um, his 12 key multiplier is 140%. That is the typical. Um, in terms of EZAs, there are no EZAs where he'll really help. I guess LR, Goku, and Frieza. Yeah, he would be useful for there. Um, especially because Evolution Blue Vegeta is one of the main units to do damage in there. So this Kabe, you know, you definitely can rock this Kabe in that um, uh, EZA to potentially help you get some extra zenny. Um, and then finally, our boy Kabe is on a couple of different category teams here. 
Uh, he is on the Universal Survival Saga team, uh, which, of course, is very, very powerful. He is a nice support for the team, but, I mean, did the team really need him? Probably not. Um, he's also over here on the Pure Saiyan team. Obviously, a really nasty lineup of characters. We know how busted the Pure Saiyan team is. He's also over here on the Universe 6 team, uh, which definitely got a lot better after that sort of, you know, Kale and Khalifa celebration. Um, then Kabe is also over here, right here, on the Super Saiyan category team, uh, which has had a lot of buffs in this calendar year. Kabe is also over here on the Bond of Master and Disciple category team, uh, which... You know, it's got a lot of Universal Survival Saga units, but I don't know about Kave's place in here, right? Unless you're running, like, a full variant of it, basically. Um, and then, finally, Kave is here on the Defender of Justice category team. So, let me know what you guys think of our boy in Kave. He definitely has some flaws, but he can look good in certain situations. I mean, here's the thing, right? Tech Piccolo is fodder, basically, everywhere, always, right? At least in Kave... You know, if in the right setup, you know, once you get deeper into these events, Kabe can be good, right? Whereas Tech Piccolo kind of can't. Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.